In this lesson, you're going to learn how to find the length of an arc as well as the area of a sector using proportions. So basically what we're looking at here is we have a circle and we're given that central angle where the vertex is at the center. We call this angle here theta. And then we've got the radius. The arc is this curved portion of the circle and the area of the sector is this pie slice, slice or pizza slice. And we can find the area of that. Now, when we talk about using a proportion, what I like to think about is uh, you have a ratio of this central angle theta to 360 degrees is going to equal the ratio of this arc to the entire circumference, which is 2 pi r. So what I think of is the part to the whole is the same as the ratio of the part to the whole. So let me just show you like an introductory example. Like say for example, if this was 90 degrees, we could say that 90 is to 360 as this arc here, we'll just call S, is to the entire circumference, which is two pi times the radius. So two pi r is the circumference. So we're doing 90 divided by 360, which really reduces to one fourth, equals the arc length S over the whole circumference, which is eight pi. And we can uh, multiply both sides by eight pi. And eight pi divided by four is two pi inches. So that's the length of this arc. Now, that should make some intuitive sense to you because if you think, well, hmm, 90, well, that's kind of like a, if I was to divide this up into like, you know, four pizza slices, right? You can see that like 90, that's like one fourth of 360, just like this arc here, there's like one fourth of the whole circumference. So this proportion method, I, I really like. It's like part to the whole equals part to the whole. Although sometimes what uh, students learn in their class is this formula, theta divided by 360 times 2 pi r. And all they're really doing is to solve for this arc length, they're just saying, well, let's just multiply both sides by 2 pi r. And that's going to give you the arc length. So you're really taking the fraction of the circle times the whole circumference gives you that portion of the circumference, the arc length. Now let's look at the area of a sector, this part right on the inside here. Same idea, I'm going to use that part to the whole, part to the whole concept. We're going to take that central angle theta, in this case it's going to be 90. So we're saying 90 divided by 360, that ratio is the same as the ratio of the area of the sector, we'll just call it A, as it relates to the area of the entire circle, which is pi r squared, or in this case pi times 4 squared. So this is 16 pi, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 16 pi to get A by itself. 90 divided by 360, we said that reduces to 1 fourth. 16 divided by 4 is going to give us 4 pi inches squared because it's area. And again, this should make some intuitive sense to us because the area of the whole circle is 16 pi. We're only looking at 1 fourth of the whole area, which is 1 fourth of 16 pi, which is 4 pi. Again, what you can do if you don't like this proportion method is you can say, hmm, if I want to solve for the area, if I multiply both sides by pi r squared, see, I'm taking theta over 360, which is the fraction of the whole circle times the area of the whole circle will give me just the area of the sector. Let's do two examples. See if you can do these on your own and we'll go through them together. Okay, for number one, we're given a central angle of 135 degrees and we're given a radius of 10 centimeters. We want to find this arc length as well as the area of the sector. So what should we do first? Well, let's do the, the arc length first. We've got 135, which is a central angle, is to uh, 360 degrees equals the ratio of this arc length s to the entire circumference, which is 2 pi r, and r is 10. So we can do a little bit of um, reducing first. 45 goes in here three times. 45 goes in here eight times. And now if we multiply both sides by 20 pi, that'll give us s by itself. So multiply this side by 20 pi. And let's see, uh, four goes in here five times. Four goes in here twice. So this comes out to 15 pi over two centimeters. That's your arc length. Of course, you could do this as a decimal. Uh, you could use 3.14 for pi, and you could cross multiply and, and solve and, and just round. But this is an exact value. Now for the area, the area, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take that central angle, 135, is to 360. That ratio is the same as the area of the sector 
as it, to the area of the whole circle, which is pi r squared, so pi times 10 squared. Again, we can reduce this down. Let's see, 45 we said goes in here three times, and 45 goes in here eight times. If we multiply both sides by 100 pi to get uh, the a by itself, we can do a little bit more reducing. Four goes in here twice, four goes in here 25 times, so that comes out to 75 pi over two centimeters squared is the area. Okay, so now for number two, this one's a little bit more challenging because we're solving for the central angle. They give us the arc length, they give us the radius, but they don't give us the angle. Well, again, since we're working with arc length here, we're gonna to wanna to use this formula here. We've got theta is to 360, right? That ratio, the part to the whole, is the same as the ratio of this arc length, 18, that part to the whole circumference, which is two pi r, the circumference. So now let's just multiply both sides by 360 to get theta by itself. And we can do a little bit of reducing here. 10 goes into 360, let's see, 36 times. Uh, two goes in here 18 times. Uh, 18 times 18, that's, I believe is 324 divided by pi, uh, which let's round this a little bit here. So we've got 18, 18, which is 324 divided by pi. Okay, so it's about 103 uh, degrees would be the central angle, and you got it. Now, if you wanna work with these problems with arc lengths and areas of sector in radians, there's some special formulas that I talk about in that video right there. So follow me over there where we dive into the same types of problems in radians using formulas.